Hello all. So today I came up with my another video and this video will be the last video that is part 11 and in today's video I will be sharing uh, like I will be uh, doing all the practical implementation of uh, dynamic scanning where you will be able to do patching of the application and uh, then uh, we will do uh, like intercepting the request from the application itself. So without wasting any time let's get started. So as you can see here, uh, I have already uh, created the environment for uh, start the dynamic analysis of the application. And for that, as I have mentioned in my previous video, we required ADB, we required APK tool, objection and 3 cell. So to start with, I have already in the uh, objection environment, that is my Python environment. I have created a separate environment in order to not create any conflict between my uh, like my main environment python environment and my uh, objection python environment so without uh, doing any confusion uh, i'll take the application apk that apk is nothing but the injured uh, injured apk that is injured android which is again i intend to build as vulnerable application so uh, to start with we have we have uh, ADB and we have our uh, Android environment ready. So you will be see all uh, the operations in, in the side video of uh, this Android, like the screen recording of the Android mobile phone. So to start with, we have to connect like uh, ADB connect 192.68.2.64. And yes, please don't try to hack this particular IP. This is my private IP and you don't have any access about it. So uh, to start with, uh, we have to go in the ADB shell. Oh, okay, ADB shell. So now we have to take the uh, like package name. So for that, we can go with PM list packages or package grab injured injured cool so we got the package name here or there are many ways to get this particular package if you want to uh, get the package from frida then you can do like this frida hyphen uai then grab injured oh, okay 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 we have to go to the source objection objection when activity and now if we go this so it will get you the uh, package name and the uh, the application name for the thing so there are many ways to get the package name so now we have to take the path of the base apk of injured application or injured android so for that we can do like pm path and then we will provide the oh sorry so we can like provide the package name here And it will provide you the uh, path where the base apk is uh, like saved in the in the uh, file storage now what you have to do is exit from here uh, now run the command adb pull and take this particular path and it will download or it will pull your uh, the apk from the file storage of android environment from your uh, sorry to your uh, patkali environment or the hacking environment we can say like hacking environment <laughs> okay now uh, i have already pulled the application uh, here is the apk uh, like application.apk now what you have to do is uh, so there are uh, like two ways where you can do uh, this particular patching work uh, like the manual process or the automate process the manual process is nothing but the the reverse engineering of the automate process i'll just take the automate process and what you have to do is just reverse the automate process uh, like use the apk tool and uh, like we compile the uh, 
application patchable application and you will see all the changes in this particular um, apk so what you have to do is next apk tool um not apk tool actually uh, objection now patch apk now source application dot apk okay so here i have used patch apk but if you if you want to use or patch ipa uh, ipa file or the ios application just do one thing change this patch apk to patch ip and you will be uh, ready to go now what it will do is just run the command and it will first detect the architecture of the target device that is arm64 now it will use the uh, frida server now it will use uh, the it will uh, get the gadget frida gadget from the uh, release section of the frida repository and it will start injecting some of the code that has to be in uh, some of the files and then it will apply some of the uh, like android permissions internet permissions is required so what exactly why internet permissions is required right so uh, in order to create a socket connection between the application and the environment which you are working on so at that time the socket is required so for that only uh, it will it will allow or it has to be add the permissions to access the internet of this particular application okay so coming next uh, as we have uh, already okay so this this particular objection has already uh, sorry this application has already has the permission now if we check in the smiley files uh, so this particular process has some uh, did some changes in the main activity dot smiley file and if we see here uh, this injected load library and the frida gadget is, uh, gadget is already injected uh, and uh, it will sign and uh, like other sort of thing so we can uh, now we have the application dot objection dot apk now what we have to do is um, uninstall the application first so if you can see here we have to uninstall the oops. okay so if you can see here mm, yes so we have uninstalled the application now what we have to do is like adb install as my environment is already connected to the android device so i'll just install from the terminal itself so adb install um, application dot objection dot apk so it will install my application over android device and it will take a little bit okay cool now application is just installed so if we can see in my android device my application is installed now what i have to do is uh, i'll just go with the objection but first i have to uh, take the package name of the application in order to perform some ssl pinning or some other sort of stuff so for that i'll just do um, objection and explore no objection hyphen g and then package name and then explore okay as you can see here uh, the application is just restarted and uh, now the application has complete uh, under the command of objection now what i will do is uh, i'll just put some of the commands like uh, ssl unpinning and disable so okay quite okay now uh, this objection framework had disabled the ssl pinning uh, like certification or ssl pinning uh, functionality from the application itself now if you click on uh, any of the application here and uh, it will go to the next activity all the requests from the application will be intercepted by uh, the burp suit itself so uh, in order to do that uh, you have to just run the particular command and then uh, you will be able to uh, like bypass the ssl pinning uh, this uh, from this application itself uh, it will bypass the root detection functionality from the application itself and then you have to check like you will be able to run the uh, run like that root detection or not okay so there are multiple uh, 
functionality there are multiple commands which you will be able to uh, get in this particular framework now if we talk about let's say uh, android now you can uh, do many things like intent key store okay now if we go to key store list okay there are no as such alias or key now if we go to let's say watch mm, nothing here interesting okay nothing here and if we go to let's say android again so if you are using android then uh, the command will be start from android so for that and then we will let's say pause the vm to execute everything in that interpret okay there is nothing like no output here android okay so there are many other uh, commands also so if you want to let's say uh, check the environment so it will get you the uh, the path where all the uh, files or all the cache directories will be available so it is it is uh, getting all the environment as per the application itself so environment will be very uh, as per the application now if we want to use let's say pwd so the current uh, directory of this particular um, application is this now if we want to use let's say mm, okay now if we want to use let's say cat okay so you can upload a file from uh, like you can check the content of the file inside the um let's say inside the folder of the application you can download the app uh, you can download any of the file you can uh, work with http file server to pull or to curl uh, the the files from the http server itself you can upload the file also the ios is there so if you want to run or if you want to test the ios application you your command should start with ios and then you will be uh, doing all the other stuff like jailbreaking ssl unpinning uh paste code pre list file everything everything you will be able to see uh, when when your iphone get connect to this objection okay there's other another command called sqlite command which work for the dot uh, sqlite files which store the data and yep that's it that's it uh, that's all for the dynamic analysis and uh, uh, like there is nothing as such a vast scope in this particular uh, scanning this the this these are the only way where you can try to perform the simple steps in your mobile application to in order to you know find something which is uh, not intended to make or to build from the organization itself so uh, i hope you learn something new and uh, i hope you learn from the series itself from the first video to the last video as this is the last video of this series and if you if you got something new do mention in the comment so that i'll start working and that uh, on that and i'll also learn from you uh, you guys also. i'll i'll try to uh, make more videos on security topics where you will be able to get something more insightful from my knowledge perspective and uh, if you if you like my complete series do share uh, make a comment and do share your research also. So, bye-bye.